All right. I'm here, th this time we're doing tutorial on how to make a cube in uh, Blender. So you're gonna start with a cylinder, right? And then you want to, you want to turn on symmetry. So the symmetry, uh, you turn on the symmetry. I think I flipped it upside down, hold on. Something's something's wrong with my uh my ZBrush. Hold on, let's start new. Let's start over. Okay, here's the oh okay. Uh, let's start a new document. Okay, make a make a new cylinder. Okay, so there's the cylinder. It's still backwards. What? It's fine. Uh, so you have your cylinder. You're going to turn on not symmetry. Yes, symmetry. Um, oh, wait, oh fuck, why is it upside down? No, okay, so you're gonna store a morph target and you're gonna put this on, uh, you're gonna put this on high polish. That's the wrong button, hold on. You're gonna put this on high polish. Why, why isn't it working? Oh, maybe you might need to, um, you might need to Uh, okay, new, okay, so what you have to do is you have to turn on Maya, you have to close ZBrush, don't worry about that bug, so Maya 2016 is free, um, if you know, if you know how to get it, uh, for free, they give it for free now, uh, it takes a long time to start, okay, so what you're gonna do, is you're gonna go to create polygon primitives, and you're gonna create a cylinder. And for the axis divisions, you want like as many as you can. So maybe like, uh, maybe like this many, okay? Then you're gonna export this as a object file to your desktop, and you're gonna call it cube. <laughs> if there's already a cube there, uh, just erase it. You probably don't want that old cube anyway. Uh, delete this. Now go back to ZBrush and open PolyMesh 3D. Now uh, it's still it's still backwards. I don't know why it's still backwards, but um. Okay, okay, there it is. That's good. No, it's still backwards. Anyway, you do import. You go to import. You import from desktop cube. Now you have your cube base. Now to make a cube, we have on symmetry, and you see it's on uh, it's on both sides. So what you want to do is you would take transform and you uh, you want this symmetry too. So now you got cubicle symmetry. Now what you're going to do, you're going to make a morph target and you're going to take your high polish and you're going to up the draw size and the intensity and you're going to Wah! And look, it's looking like a cube already. And then uh, you're going to undo that because that was like a little too far. I mean, you could have just changed the morph target, but I forgot to. Um, I think this is it. Oh no, wait, we made a- if you make a rectangle instead of a cube, you have to- you have to start over, uh, unfortunately. Uh, because you can't- you can't fix it once- oh wait, no, there's a way to fix it. Uh, you just gotta take- rotate, rotate, until you can see the top, and you take the- the move brush. Take the move brush, and you- oh no, not like that. You take the move brush, and then- you just you just push it in, and uh, if you make it, if you make a trapezoid, uh, you undo it, and you do it like this instead. Okay, good, good. And then you go to high polish again, and we're gonna polish it. What? Oh, small, smaller high polish maybe? No. Um, okay, go to your morph target and do switch, and then delete it. Now we have a cylinder. And we're gonna take the draw, or take the brush, and you're gonna, uh, you're gonna, uh, fuck it, uh, do this. And look, it's a cube! And you're gonna export this as a, um, as a cube. Oh, but before you do, you should add Greebles. Because no one likes Smooth Cube. So you subdivide it until you get to, uh, six million triangles. And then you go to uh, noise. I think it's under late. No, it's under 
surface, surface, noise. Okay, then, and you add the noise scale really big and just hit okay. And now, if you look, okay, now you, uh, you go to geometry. Wait, no, you go, you go, you go surface, surface, and no, you go geometry, you go, you have to apply the thing, but I don't know how, um, maybe it'll work. So you export this as cube object, and then you're gonna, then you're gonna close, uh, the, wait, then you're gonna open, uh, it's okay if <laughs> ZBrush, it's okay if ZBrush crashes. Now we're gonna open Blender. Uh, now that you have Blender open, uh, you're gonna delete the starting cube and you're gonna import, uh, object file and then, uh, ignore that and then you import your cube. And 